So I'm coming to you from sunny Florida. I'm at Loggerhead Marine Life Center, which is somewhere I've been coming for years. When I first started coming here, they were actually keeping the rescued turtles in essentially what were baby pools. And as you can see today, it's very different. Uh, they're, I think, multi-million dollar facility at this point. They're doing a lot of amazing work, uh, saving turtles, giving them surgeries, antibiotics. And I'm here today because they've got two turtles being released on Monday, Cayman and Finley. So we're gonna go visit them today in their tanks, talk to one of the volunteers about their injuries and why they're now being able to be released into the ocean. And then on Monday, we're gonna pick things back up and we're gonna be at the beach watching them go back into the ocean, which is honestly the most magical thing I've ever experienced. If you're visiting the Palm Beaches, Juno Beach, which is where Loggerhead Marine Life Center is, is about a 30 minute drive. Let's go check out the turtles and get the story on the road. Finley, the sub-adult loggerhead, probably about 16, 17 years old, weighs in about 85 or 90 pounds. Uh, Finley's been with us only for about three weeks. Severity of the injury, not that big, not in a big mm -hmm. deal. Uh, had a fishing hook embedded in its flipper. So it was a pretty simple fix for these magicians in here. Mm -hmm. It was remove the hook, antibiotics, just like you and I. His appetite's back up the snuff, and uh, as I was just telling you, mm -hmm. Monday, day after tomorrow, over here across the street, he and Cayman next door are both going to be released. Cayman is going to get sprung on uh, Monday morning as well. You just saw Finley over there. Uh, you can't see her because she's taking a little rest, but came in here, his problem was a little bit more severe. So it was double trouble, actually. Uh, there was a shark attack, so she had to have part of her front left flipper amputated about where your elbow would be, and then some monofilament and fishing line got wrapped around that, so it just exacerbated the whole thing. Uh, but once again, uh, the vet and the assistants inside did it. Oh, here did a wonderful job and uh, the testament to that is that she's going to be released with just three flippers and yes she'll be fine with three.
so now that we've seen where Cayman and Finley started, which is the Loggerhead Marine Life Center right there, I wanted to give you a rundown of what's going to happen on Monday when they're released. So what will happen is they'll each get loaded onto the little golf cart, and from there they'll make their way from the Turtle Rehab just down and across the streets and over here to the ocean. From there, what will happen is they'll have a setup over here with a tent and a little like kind of like runway almost uh, sectioned off for the turtles, and they'll basically just put them into the sand and from there nature takes over and they go out into the ocean. It is the most magical thing in the world. I was here about a month or two ago when they released another turtle named Koa and it just, I didn't think it was going to be so emotional. It was so magical. So I'm very excited to share this with you. It's going to be extra special. Stay tuned. I guess I'll see you on Monday. Good morning. So it's time for the turtle release. It's a gorgeous day here in Juneau Beach. It's, I think, probably about like 83, 84 right now. It's about 9.30 in the morning. And in about 45 minutes, this entire place is gonna be packed with people. Both Cayman and Finley are gonna be making their way to the ocean. So stay tuned, it's gonna be super magical.